Well, uh, how do you take your tea? I take mine Earl Grey with a bit of skim milk, no sugar, thank you. I take it, I like a bit of sugar. But that seems to be the healthy option that my wife has there. But according to Tessa Carr, who's with me now, and she is a mum, hidden sugars in cow's milk caused your Dylan's, your son's Dylan's, teeth to decay. And that led to him having four of those teeth taken out. This is very, very interesting. But can cow's milk really rot your teeth, given as the diagnosis is the man dubbed the singing dentist, and he's Dr. Millard Shadru, uh, alongside Tessa here today. First of all, we're going to hear this story, um, and there's so many complications to this because you're going to tell, tell us why you believe milk was responsible. Why? Okay. Um, well, firstly, I had um, breastfed my son for 14 months. Um, he absolutely loved his milk. Um, so when I stopped breastfeeding him, obviously, he still wanted to wake up during the nights um, to have his milk. So I would obviously give him cow's milk. Um, and no sooner than later, he would uh, fall back to sleep. And obviously, he would wake up again <laughs> sometime yeah. later. Um, and again, just giving him cow's milk. Um, I would feed it to him in a beaker, so um, the nozzle would sit on his teeth and obviously the milk would sort of fall back and sit on the back of his teeth and I didn't realise that this is what was happening um, until it was um, 2013 Christmas time. Um, a part of his tooth, and on his back tooth, uh, had actually chipped off and he was in a lot of pain. Um, it was during the Christmas period, so we couldn't see the dentist, yes. and we'd spoken to NHS Direct, and they gave us some fantastic advice over the phone. Um, we gave him lots of painkillers, a like paracetamol for children, okay. and um, that seemed to ease the pain for a p period of time. And then when we saw his dentist, um, they gave him a temporary filling, uh, and he, he advised that it was just the one tooth. But then you but went to your own dentist, and didn't you? And to the four, new year. four coming out and some well, other ones yes, having to be treated. Yes. So, Millard, basically, could milk have been responsible or not? What's your view? So, milk um, as a drink in the daytime is, is good. It's good for the teeth, but it's the prolonged exposure to it. So, milk does contain natural sugar, lactose, um, as Ruth correctly said. Anything that ends in O's is a sugar. But it's the lactose, it, it takes a lot longer for that to sort of break down and then become effective on the teeth but it's that prolonged exposure at night time that can do it so, so the timing is exactly well. right yes so night time what the, the milk is it's sitting there sitting, sitting there, there. Yeah. and especially from bottles because it sits around the teeth yeah. and it, it sits on the front teeth uh -huh. and it, it what you to do that. I mean uh, if little Dylan he wants something we recommend milk. water. Would, yeah. Water? You have to try and get the kids onto water, you, yeah. Could, could have you, you taken him off milk now? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. I have now. Um, he's just having water at night time mm. if he wakes up. Right. So he had yeah. four teeth taken yeah. out, but, yes. and then his front teeth front were teeth starting were filed, to be affected. Filed down. Filed down. Yes. But okay. the, the, the other complication here, which I find fascinating, was because he was so young and because his baby teeth were coming out, mm. you think, OK, well, that's, that's a solution. Mm. But it wasn't actually because the teeth that followed were too big for the space available. That gave him problems later on, didn't it? Um, yes. Um, it was only until he started school um, I sort of realised that he was one of the elder children in his class because he's September born. Um, however, his speech um, wasn't as pronounced as mm. some of the younger children in, in his class. And I thought, well, maybe that's just had a knock-on fit from the fact that he had his teeth taken out before <coughs> that. Mm -hmm. um, so, very, only very recently, he started dribbling quite a lot and sort of picking up the, the spit in his mouth. And I was wondering, well, what's, what's going on? Why is he doing that? Is, is, is this okay. connected with his speech? Well, um, Tessa, thank you. I'm sorry we're reaching. We have to hit the weather break here. But um, 